Hello everybody, this is Mr. Brackett with an instructional video on how to install Microsoft Office on your new staff computer. Uh, the new staff computers were delivered uh, with uh, Microsoft Office installed on them, but the version that's installed is not a version that we have a license for. So what you'll end up needing to do is removing that version and installing the version that we have a license for. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the first thing you want to do is pull up your start menu and type in the word programs and you'll get add or remove programs as an option. Click on that and you'll get a list of programs uh, that you have installed on your computer. You scroll down to the M's and you'll find Microsoft Office uh, right here, it should say Microsoft 365. You want to click uninstall. And then uninstall again. And you want to verify. Um, and uh, that's a pretty simple process for uninstalling. Uh, then the other thing you want to do is press your Windows button and R at the same time to get, to get this little run dialog. And in the run dialog, you're going to type double backslash file one backslash shared backslash tech and in the folder that comes up you will find a folder called office 13 you want to take that office 13 folder and copy it to your desktop this is the installation folder for the version of office that we have a license for in the school district So what you should end up with is a couple of screens running side by side. One saying that Microsoft is removing Office uh, down here. And this screen that shows that the new uh, Office install folder is being copied uh, to your desktop. So eventually you'll have the uninstall complete on Microsoft Office from your computer. You'll also have this new office 13 folder existing on your desktop so that install folder on the desktop when you click in it uh, it'll have a bunch of files files and folders the one at the bottom is the one that you want to double click to launch the installation of microsoft office uh, that we have a license for uh, that install will end up creating a window uh, for installing Microsoft Office Pro. Um, and that process will take a little bit uh, of time. But once you end up getting there, um, then you'll have uh, Microsoft Office installed. And then we can add uh, the license key. So once you end up in this place where Microsoft Office says that it is done installing, you can click close. Um, and, but you don't need to reboot right away if you don't want to. Um, what you're going to end up doing next, uh, you can open um, one of those programs, uh, Excel for example, and Excel is going to run. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Uh, use recommended settings. Uh, it's always a good option. Then it's going to run you through a bunch of these prompts that don't really mean anything. Um, and then I like to open a blank workbook. Uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is to head back to the share tech folder. So file one slash share slash tech. Um, and what you're going to be looking for is a file called Office 13 key. You don't want to copy that to your desktop. And once you have it there, you'll open it up and you'll take this key. And then you're going to go back over to here and you'll go into file and account and change product key 
and then you're going to paste that product key in there click install give permission for the activation process to complete and then you'll see uh, that little uh, you must activate your software uh, banner goes away uh, you can go back here close the software and now you have office uh, installed. You don't need that key anymore. You can delete it off of your desktop. You don't need the installation folder anymore. You can get rid of that too. Um, and that will give you uh, the Microsoft Office we have uh, a license for. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.